Hello and welcome back to, well, not welcome back, I suppose. Uh, welcome to your country to tutorial. So, pretty much, this tutorial, I'm going to go into ammo. Now, the way tutorials are going to work, I might end up sometime doing a series on how to make a specific game genre of some sort, but for now I'm just gonna stick with just random tutorials telling you how to do random things pretty much things that can make your game a bit better so in this case it's kind of a necessary thing you're gonna need to have it and it's pretty easy to set up so we've got our character here and I've not bothered to draw a gun on him but if I just enter in a sprite and I just draw like a line and say that no a dot a dot will do and say that that's a bullet if I crop that down using this tool here and then exit out I can rename this to bullet rename him to guy and we'll put the bullet there. Now we're going to give the bullet bullet physics, obviously. Let's turn it down to about 350. I'm going to put the bullet up here, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to give the bullet gravity 5 so that it drops a little bit. So now if we play, it's opened up on my other screen, there we go. Why is my computer being so slow? Third party plugging behavior. Huh, I don't really have that many plugins. I've got one. Just pause. That's never given me an error before. It's a bit strange. Meh. Let's put gravity back to zero. Anyways, so pretty much, uh, we're just here to do ammo. So you can obviously add in the gun if you don't know how. I will probably make a tutorial on it in a later date. But for now. I'm pretty much just going to go and start. So, go into your event sheet, right click and add a global variable, call this ammo, and equal it to the amount of ammo that's going to be in your gun. So, if you've got an assault rifle, you're going to have it to th about 30 to 35. LMG, you'll have 100, well, 80 to 100, and a pistol, you'll have about 15. So, I'm just going to do a pistol, so for this I'm obviously going to call this pistol ammo. Because if you've got more than one gun, you're going to have more than one ammo, pretty much. So your pistol ammo is set to 15 because that's how many you've got. Now, to begin with, you're going to want to make it 16, and you'll see why in a minute. So pretty much, you've got this. So you go into you need to make some checks pretty much. So we need to make the bullet spawn. Okay. So how can we how can we do this? Let's just make it spawn on the person. Guy. Where are we? Spawn. Object. Oh there we go. No? It's the wrong one. Oh, we need to input a mouse, that's why. I'm retarded. Probably shouldn't say that. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Let's put that in and put the keyboard in as well. <laughs> Where's it gone? There it is, got it. Okie doke. So, add event, mouse. Um, we'll say on any click guy 
should be here now. Spawn another object, bullet. There we go. Oh dear. Guy. Spawn another object, bullet. So, now when we play, we'll get that JavaScript error, you know, as you do. Let me just change this. Where are we? Where's Chrome? There. So there's no error with Chrome. So it's obviously just that. So as you can see, whenever we click on any, we can um, we can spawn the object. We can fire. But the problem is we can unlimited. We can fire for as much as we want. So we're gonna tell the person that we're gonna have what's file choose that's new. Hmm. Um where are we? Text there. We're gonna call this ammo. Oops. Put that in the Stop. Let me just put on snapping to grid. There we are. Oops. Control X. Layers. One. GUI. There we go. Put it back in the corner. Make sure it's on that GUI. Make sure you select it on GUI and change the parallax to zero zero. Because all your GUI should be on zero zero, so that it doesn't move. Pretty much. It's that simple. Brilliant. Anyways, so you can obviously do your font and everything, but now we're going to make it actually update all the time. So every tick, system every tick, text, set text, and just put ammo, colon space, make sure you have that space, and pistol ammo. So now that is set to 16. So pretty much, when the we need to check when it's been spawned. So bullet on created it should be uh, the wow my mouse was literally just on it. Uh, bullet on created. What did, I, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to take it from the score. So, subtract from pistol ammo 1. Now, as you can see when we play, it's 15. Because of that first one that you can't see, but it still gets spawned. Now you need this in here, so that it knows the bullets and everything. I'm pretty sure of it. You can probably try taking it out, but I always just leave it in anyway, because why not? You know. You can only live once. You've got you, you've got to do these things. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. That's your ammo done. So it spawns it, takes it down. After fifteen, you can still shoot, and it goes into the minuses. So now we need to compare it. Compare variable pistol ammo. Uh, less than or equal to zero. Now we've got to have that less than or equal to because it they could shoot past zero before the thing can even go. Wait a minute, it's already gone past zero, but we've not been told to do anything if it has. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much why you do that. So pistol ammo, if it's less than zero, then we've got to have another variable able to shoot. You could probably call it something better than that. Now it's default going to be set to 1 because obviously we don't want them not being able to shoot as soon as they join into the game. Um, so out of end, so no 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 no. Pistol armor, there we go. What am I doing? Oh yes, set value. Able to shoot to 0. That's pretty much it. And then we gotta wait. 
wait one second or however long you want to take for it to reload. If you have a reload sound, then you're probably going to want to have the you want to have at the same time as that. And quite simply, set value able to shoot one. Now that isn't it, pretty much. That is not it. So after it's done that, we need to set the text again. Uh, not the text, sorry, the variable of pistol ammo to 15 this time, because that last, that first one has already been spawned. So that will always loop. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, 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 blah. Two left, one, two. Can't shoot. Oh. Yes, I can. Hold on a minute. Let me just check that again. It does go into the minus one. I'm not sure. Oh, because we've not told it. Here. We need to make a condition. So go to event. Add condition. Uh, system variables. Uh, system and then compare variable. Able to shoot. If it's equal to zero, uh, uh, one, then it's allowed to do it. If it's not, then it, it's not, pretty much. So, let's try that again. And as you can see, when it's zero, we can no longer shoot. And you can hear it. So, there you go, pretty much. That's ammo. Yay. Ammo in 12 minutes, pretty much. We'll round it up to that. So, yeah, that's that little code is all you need to do ammo so I will pretty much um, leave it there I suppose uh, I don't think I can upload this anywhere but you know it's not that much code that much script even so you can um, I'm pretty sure you can cope doing that uh, pretty much it thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial Allez vous voir